All right, howdy boys. Welcome back to Bucket Town. I know it's been a while. I've been busy. I finally finished the uh, first draft of my book. My new book I've been working on. And uh, due to the way I work on it, I've also finished the uh, second draft. So I'm moving on to third. Nearly done. I normally do four drafts. But anyways, we're replacing a battery today. This battery is not like other batteries. Uh, I should rephrase that. This battery is a pain to uh, put into the computer. So as you can see, this one right here has a little cable. And we've got to get in to this laptop to put this in. Some computers um, are easy to get into. Like I just said, this one is far from easy to get into. He's an old fellow. This is an Asus ROG laptop. Mm, I think I got it the end of 2015. So along the back, you can see there are lots of screws. Here's what I have. This is my little iFixit toolkit. I bought it to do a console repair and I love it. He's got 64 different bits in there. Great stuff. So we should be able to find whatever it is we're looking for in here. Okay, alright. We have removed all the screws along the back except this one. Refusing to come out. Uh, I'll just get him out later. All right, let me uh, pull the disk drive out. There we go. You can see that's the screw right there. So that takes our disk drive out. We'll just. Hey, dusty. How'd you get that dusty? We'll clean that before we put it back in. Check around. I'm pretty sure this comes up. Yeah, it comes. There you know, I have a thing just for this. Even better, an old subway gift card. Ship it up in here. Plenty dusty in here. Very dusty. Next, we're gonna take out this fella right here. You can see the screws. It looks like all the screws are of the same size in here. So it doesn't really matter whether they're kept together. So I'm just gonna put them all on this one side. This little thing is very helpful. Uh, it's got rolls. You gotta keep your screws in piles. Those are out of the way. Let's pull this fellow up. Pull the tab out. Lift him. And so this is the one terabyte hard drive. He's out of the way. We'll set him over there to the side with everyone else. Okay. Alright. As you can see right here, there are screws running right there. One, two, three. Running along that way. I need to pick those off. They're a little smaller. We'll give you a little head. Much smaller screw. Itty bitty. Basically, the problem with the battery is over time it loses the ability to hold its charge very well. And that's just kind of gross. This is where the scary part comes. Alright. We open them up. We're actually going to need to remove this plate. Nice. Pick it up in here. It's not the easiest thing. All right, as you can see, right there, I have got inside the edge of the case, which is what we needed to do. He's popped out, so now we just gotta gently encourage the rest of the thing to do that. There we go. Slide him along and fry him as we go. Alright, okay. 
here's the interesting part. Okay, as you can see down in here, we have several things that are gonna keep us from removing this. Whoa, <laughs> ribbon cables, right there. <laughs> I wanna remove the rest of the ribbon cables. There's one more left in there. All right. It's really hard to show, but I'm, I'm removing it, so you just have to take my word for it. Just a little bar, put them out. Go. Okay, here's the keyboard. He's all cleaned out. Oh, you may think. Wrong way. There it is. Alright, the keyboard is removed. We have multiple ribbon cables. These two are uh, attached up here, and then we got one that's left up near. Welcome, my friends, to the interior of the left. You may recognize something as you look in here. Beep, 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 beep. And hits that. And hits that. Oh, there it is. That is the battery. There the battery is. He runs along the length back here. This is his little cable. Plugs underneath this. A little bit of tape right there. We'll remove that temporarily. Put it back in a minute. That's the connector. We can just pull that up. Uh, no, no, we just pull it out. Sorry, I was thinking it was like a ribbon cable. We just take him, gently tug on him, back and forth, pop, he's out. Now, the other screws, we've got one right there, and one right there. So we pop those out. Get your screwdrivers and dive in. Ready to be taken out. So we just grab him by his little cable, gently lift on him, kind of pulls up like that. Alright, stick him back in. Goes in about like that. Cradle. Holding each side of the battery. Pull him down. Going that way, let's just sharp one in this one. I just like going in straight back for some reason. There he is. Alright. Guide him back in. Got the right side. I think you gotta flip it. As always, be gentle. Gently guide him in. And he's in. Now it's just a matter of putting it all back together. Here's all our screws. I'm going to clean this pillow and then I'm going to show you a little speed run montage of me putting it back together. I have 91% isopropyl alcohol. Just going to put them on a cotton swabby. Carefully plug these in. I can't really show this to y'all, so you just have to take my word for it. I'm plugging them in. You piece of thread. Don't be that. Don't be a piece of thread. That's not coming along. It'll get there eventually. He's all, he's all good to go. Okay. Shut him. Go to the back. Start putting everything back in. So here are all our screws. I've got a good number of pretties left. When you do this, don't over tighten me. You ain't screwing in a screw. It ain't gonna fall apart either. Going off memory here, so I hope we don't uh, have leftovers. Alright. Go ahead and put our hard drive back in. Let's 
slide it back in. As you can see, right there, that's the connector. Back right into it. And then, very nice. Uh, this thing is dirty as crud. So we're gonna clean them real fast. Uh, the battery's in, charger plugged in. It appears to be charging. Yeah, it's thinking about it. Yeah, it's plugged in. Okay. okay. Yeah, look at it. Look at down here. Charging. Yes. Buy my book. It's cool. <laughs> but, anyways, that's it. We should be done. The battery's been replaced. Here, the old one is. I'll put them in the scrap pile. That's what I do with this stuff. I'm sure we'll use them one day for some evil experiment. But for now, he's over there. Uh, yeah. If you like this video, comment. Because I have a theory. You guys probably already know this, but... I think YouTube likes it when y'all comment. So, tell me what you think. Have you ever replaced your battery? Tell me your wackadoo story. You just saw mine. I'll see you in the next Bunker Tales. Bye-bye.